The discussion over gun control is something making headlines all over the country. For the past week, Reality Check has looked at the numbers behind gun control and crime rates. But tonight, we're looking at the Second Amendment, the intention behind it, and what the founders might think about the gun debate today. This is a reality check you won't see anywhere else. The discussion over gun control in light of the Connecticut school shooting has been building over the past week. Among the claims made that the Second Amendment was meant for hunting at a time when people use muskets. So we begin tonight with what the Second Amendment says. Quote, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, to be clear, the militia is not regular military. They were farmers and blacksmiths who went about their daily lives. But notice that the amendment says this is for the security of a free state. According to the 1828 dictionary and other historical documents of the day, that independent state was actually seen as an independent nation. So it's important to understand that the Second Amendment was not about guaranteeing the right to a musket. It was about citizens of a sovereign state matching force with military. I talked with attorney Don Moore about this. From a legal standpoint, and the way I was taught in law school, essentially, um, the purpose of that amendment was to allow us to defend our country and to defend ourselves against our country. You see, this is where American history becomes very politically incorrect. Because the Second Amendment was not drafted for hunting or just self-defense from an attacker. The Second Amendment was put in place to guarantee the rights of the individual to be equally armed as military both foreign and domestic, in the event that the citizenry might actually at some point have to fight their own government. Specifically, the purpose of the amendment was to keep, have an armed society. Several examples in the 20th century where governments have perpetrated evil against its citizenry, some probably even in this century, 21st century. And, and it's very difficult to do that to an armed populace. To an unarmed populace, you can round them up, you can put them in ghettos, you can execute them, you can do all kinds of things when they're not armed. So what this means for you, it's again a very controversial subject, but if we're going to have a debate about what rights are actually guaranteed under the Constitution, then we need to have an honest debate about what the founders were attempting to guarantee. The Second Amendment is about making sure the population would not be controlled, dominated, or oppressed by a government. It's not my place to attempt to tell you what the founders were thinking or what they'd be thinking today, but the principle of what they put in place had nothing to do with the kind of weapon they were guaranteeing. It was simply about matching force. And that is reality check.